This year was the most special of anything I'd ever seen at Arafah. For those of you that haven't seen the clips, it's the year that it rained in Arafah. And subhanAllah, I've had the opportunity to go for Hajj for over a decade and I've never actually seen rain in Arafah. And to actually create the scene for you, before I even get into the subject of the khutbah, if any of you have been to Hajj in the last few years, you know how it goes on the day of Arafah. Everyone prepares themselves for dua. They get themselves ready for that day. They say, I'm going to go find a mountain and I'm going to stand on a mountain. First they get to Arafah and there's a shock that it's not a mountain. It's actually a nice open space, uh, a plain. And there's mount, there, there are mountains and hills, but it is not a mountain. The entire area of Arafah is Arafah. And everyone gets ready to make those duas, to make those prayers. And if you've been in the last few months, you know that the heat quickly humbles you. You start making dua for about an hour and then you have people passing out out of heat exhaustion because they underestimated the sun. And they end up instead in the tents and a lot of people end up spending the entire time in the tents making dua just because it, get, it, it gets so tough. So this year, as Arafah began, the exact same thing happened as last year and the year before. It was hot. Everyone was excited in the beginning. And then the heat humbled people into their tents. And then subhanAllah, something happens. About two hours in, these clouds formed. Or actually, I'd say about an hour and a half in, these clouds formed over Arafah. And it was very distinct that these clouds were only over the area of Arafah. These millions of people with their hands raised to the sky, pleading to Allah for their personal and for the collective, for their dunya and for their akhirah, for their worldly life and for the hereafter, for acceptance and for forgiveness. And then you had these clouds that formed and clouds at that time in the days of Hajj can be very scary as well because people are very vulnerable. If the weather gets bad, then people have no buildings to retreat to. So it doesn't rain there. Uh, usually it's very unlikely for it to ever rain there in that desert. It truly is wadin ghayri di zara, a place where fruits and vegetables don't typically grow, grow where it doesn't really rain. And so, you know, if people, if it really rains bad, then it can get very dangerous for people. And so when the clouds form, they can be quite intimidating. But these clouds form over the area of Arafah, and a light drizzle starts to come. And then, subhanAllah, that's where the rain starts. And the rain that came down on the day of Arafah on the people that were there in Hajj was so extraordinary, so refreshing. It brought everyone out of their tents and if you took a moment to just peek around you, all you saw was everybody outside standing up with their hands up like this. No one was sitting, no one was in a tent. The rain hits you from this way and then the rain hits you from behind you and it was heavy enough to cool off the entire day of Arafah and at the same time it wasn't too heavy to where it became dangerous for the people that were outside. There was lightning and the lightning actually struck, there's the light, the, the main light uh, source, the lightning bolt actually struck it directly and lit up all the lights at one time. You saw it happen in front of my own two eyes and you have this scene out of a movie and you just have suddenly the exact opposite. If someone were to tell you this would be the scene 30 minutes before that, you wouldn't believe it. 